Hey guys, what's up? Mr. Lakey here. Today is going to be our first video of something that you guys haven't seen. So without further ado, let's get after it. Okay, today we're going to talk about comparing and ordering decimals. This is quite similar to what we talked about the other day with comparing and ordering fractions. It also ties in a little bit with what we were doing the other time on converting fractions to decimals. Last time we talked about using a place value chart. Okay, we've also talked about using a number line. Today it's just going to be with decimals instead of fractions. Okay, first thing we have here is a chart with the weights of three kittens, Freddie, Oscar, and Maggie. Okay, let's see how these numbers compare to each other using a place value chart. What we can see here with our place value chart is that in the ones place, each of these numbers has a value of zero. Okay, so we know that they're going to be fairly close. In the tenths place, all three of these numbers have a value of three. We've got three tenths for each of these numbers. Now, in the hundreds place, things get a little different. We've got a nine, a six, and a nine. So thinking about alphabetical order or ordering anything, we can start to take apart these numbers and see which ones are bigger. All right, so same, 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 different, okay? So we know that this one, our weight for Oscar is gonna be the smallest of our decimals. Okay, now the other ones we're not sure yet because they're still the same. 0, 0395, 0 0.391. Okay, five is bigger than one, so we know that 0 0.391 is our second smallest. That means 0 0.395 is our biggest. Okay, so right now we've already compared the weight of our kittens. We know that the lightest kitten is Oscar. We know that the heaviest kitten is Freddy, okay? Let's look at the number line. Now, when we're comparing things on a number line, we have to understand what all these little lines mean. I know my line's not very straight. Pretty, could have done a better job with that. I apologize. But we're looking at a number line that is divided between 0 0.30 and 0 0.40. All of these little lines in here represent more of these digits, okay? So let's put these kittens on the number line, starting with the least. Oscar's weight of 0 0.364. Let's find 0 0.36 on our number line. That's right here. Now, we've got a 0 0.4 in there as well, or a 0 0.4 after all those other numbers. So we got 0 0.36. 0 0.361, 362, 363, and there is 0 0.364, okay? Now, let's go up to 0 0.391. Find it on the number line, 0 0.39 is right here. 0 0.391 is right there, okay? 0 0.395, we just count up four more, and 0 0.395 is there, okay? So just to be clear, in between each of these 0 0.3s is nine more divisions, okay? So 10 in all. So the number line works exactly like a ruler, essentially, when we're talking about centimeters and millimeters. We'll get into that a little later on, but that's something that you can refer back to in prior knowledge to help you understand how a number line works. Okay, it's just counting up from wherever you want to start. Okay, the only reason we started at 0 0.30 is because those were the numbers that we had here and I couldn't fit a huge number line on the board and have you still be able to see it. Okay, so to summarize, we've got, when we're taking decimals, we have to think of it like alphabetical order. Okay, we have to look at each place value individually in order to determine 
which decimal is bigger, okay? The easiest way to do that is to put it into a place value chart, just like I've done here. 0 0.3s, 9.5, 0 0.364, and 0 0.391 are easy to order from least to greatest when we have them laid out nicely in a number line. Okay, the last thing I want to talk about in this video is how we don't always end up with zero in this spot here, okay? So I'm going to erase my number line here. We have to remember that these are still numbers. Let's take, for example, Okay, so we've got some numbers here, 17.65, 16.36, and 17.62. Now, we can't forget about the stuff we already know in terms of these numbers here. Which number is the smallest? Well, we don't have to look at the decimals yet because we know that 16 is smaller than 17. Okay, so we're going to list these from least to greatest. 16.36. Now, let's do the same thing that we did up here in this one. We've got 17. We go to the next number. We've got a 6. We've also got a 6 here. Next number, we've got a 5 in the hundreds place and a 2 in the hundreds place. So which one's smaller? The 2 is smaller. So that's going to be our next number ordered from least to greatest. Now, 17.65. Okay, there you have it ordered from least to greatest using whole numbers, not just the zeros, okay? So any questions, again, contact me on email, Google Hangouts, or Google Classroom, okay? I'm also gonna be posting an assignment on Google Classroom for you to practice what we just did right here.